Well folks, Adventures into using an Arduino for DCC control of accessories. This was my first attempt. Uh, some people may have seen it before. I've been using it for demonstrations for the last three or four years. I'll just explain it quite quickly. Uh, I've got three elements to the, the board from Jeff Bunzer. This part here is an optocoupler. It takes the track DC from the Sprog and makes it nice and safe to go into the Arduino in here. This is Arduino Nano. It can give a 1 amp of power to LEDs etc. But you start using servos and things like that, there's not enough oomph to give the required ampage for servos and other things. So what I used was a, a shield which gave a separate power supply. It took a signal and used the power supply from the board. And this worked quite well for many a year and you could change the settings using CVs from your command station. And all, it was quite good. Only problem was trying to get enough power from the shield. So I decided to look elsewhere. My next adventure into the world of DCC Arduino control came across this board from a guy called Bill Cuthbert. I hope you got in right Bill. I'll leave a link to Bill's uh, website in the description as well. On the board, the DCC comes in this side here, goes up to an optocoupler, which makes, makes it quite safe for the Arduino to use the signals. On this end of the board, we've got a power supply. This can give up to 6 amps of power, which is not too bad. And it, it comes out here. On the output, you get 12 volts, which is quite good for most things such as selenides and turtoise. and You can also make it a steady state with uh, Bill's software into the decoder so you could do LEDs. Of course you need a resistor to take the 12 volts down to a suitable voltage for the LED. It's quite a versatile board as well being Arduino. You could put Jeff Munsey's software into it because what you're doing you take the signal Converting it in and giving your output. What I've actually done with this board, I've put in the Mardek from a previous uh, video software into the board. It wasn't a hard job to put the Mardek into the board. All I had to do was burn the Nano as a Uno with Nico's website, so again, link in the description. He gives you clear and precise instructions how to burn the bootloader onto it. Within settings of the bootloader burnt onto it, I'll upload the Mardek software to the, this board and it works perfect as well. Unlike the DCC Next board, you've got to bear in mind this end here is 12 volts and not 5 volts. So if you use servos, you need to remember to put some additional hardware in to do it. The board itself is a hobby kit, Bill sells them on eBay, you get a link through his website and this board here cost me about £5.50 for the board. I bought two boards at the same time, saving a bit of the postage and all the components on the board cost me around about £5. So for the board and the components £10 and your Arduino Nano about £2.50. Board, this board here several years ago at 99 pence. To see it working, I've got it plugged into the DCC. If I go to pin 1, no, I've got a voltmeter to see it working. If I switch it off, it goes from 11.2 volts down to near 0 volts. Put it back on again, 
it takes it back up to 11.2 volts. It does take 14 volts. I use 12 volts on my bus, so 12 volts coming at 11.2 volts at our end. It's more than enough for my means for this board. I'll be using this board for doing my signals, using LEDs. So, impressed with it? Yes, very impressed with it. The third board I went to was the DCC Next, using the Mardek as well. Uh, in the next video I will show you how the Mardek works on this board. Thanks for watching folks, we'll catch you again soon.